Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is minimum remove to make valid parenthesis. So in this question, we're given a string S which consists of opening parenthesis, closing parenthesis and lowercase English letters. Our task is to remove the minimum number of parenthesis either open or close in any positions present inside the string S so that the resulting parenthesis string is valid. So it should have equal number of opening and closed parenthesis and also all the open parenthesis should be closed. So first opening parenthesis should be occurring so that is a valid string and our task is to return any valid string by definition a parenthesis string is valid if and only if it is an empty string or it contains only lowercase letters or it can be written as a b a concatenated with b where a and b are valid strings or also parenthesis a close parenthesis where a is again a valid string so here it means this is a so this pattern is observed here this is one valid substring this is also one valid substring so let's take these examples and see how we can solve this question so let's take the first example given to us a task is to remove minimum number of parentheses so that the resulting string is valid a valid parentheses will always have equal number of opening and closing parentheses and the second point is that the number of closing parentheses should never be greater than the number of opening parentheses so here as you can see so let's count the number of opening and closing parentheses so here it is zero it is zero it is zero here we have 1, here again it is 1 and here it is 2, here it is 2 and now when there is a closing parenthesis we subtract it by 1, again here it is 1, again now it is 0 and here it is 0, here it is 0, again there is a closing parenthesis, so here it is minus 1. So to make it a valid parenthesis, in the end, we, to satisfy the rule number 1, the end should always be 0. So you find the difference between 0 and the last character, it is 1, so you have to remove one character from here, so if you remove this the output will be and now in this case you can observe that the number of opening and closing parenthesis is same and never the number of closing parenthesis is greater than the number of opening parenthesis. So to solve this question let's do the same here it is 1 and now it is a closing parenthesis so it became minus 1. Now again it is minus 1 now it is 0 it is 0 it is 1 and it is 1. So to satisfy this so in the end it should be 0 so to make it 0 so you have to make one removal and where is that removal it is here because it should never become negative because that number should never become negative and the task is to not return how many number of parentheses we should remove we have to return the string which is valid so let's solve this question now so to solve this question first i'm going to create the result which we are going to return because the output is a string i'm going to start with the string builder and copy this entire string into the string builder because you know the output is coming from the string only so let us start with the string and then transform it so initially the string builder is also going to have whatever the string is having we are going to use this string builder because it has better performance compared to a string and also you can use many inbuilt methods on the string builder so initially we are starting with the string present inside the string builder and now you notice we only have to deal with the parenthesis in the string and whenever you encounter a lowercase letter you can just ignore it because those won't be changing we just have to remove the parenthesis wherever it is not needed so let's also take the index positions so in this question you know you have to delete this closing parenthesis and you also have to keep track of where the opening parenthesis is so that you can close its respective uh, closing parenthesis so this is a pair we have to keep track of the index positions wherever there is a parenthesis so to keep track of the index positions and compare it whenever a later parenthesis is occurring you have to use a data structure to keep track so i'm going to use a stack which will hold the index positions so inside a stack you add elements from the top and remove elements from the top and inside the stack you're going to store the index positions so now let's start iterating through the input string we're iterating from starting to end we take first character it is a the first index is not a opening or not a closing parenthesis it is a lowercase letter so ignore it and move forward now it is a closing parenthesis so before any opening parenthesis occurring so to check the index position if there is a opening parenthesis occurring so this stack is going to store index of opening parenthesis so the stack is empty so it means you have to remove this character there is nothing to nothing in the stack so that we can cancel this opening parenthesis and this closing parenthesis as the stack is empty you have to remove this so to remove this you already have your answer here so you have to mark this particular character so i'm going to replace this inside the string builder because this is going to be returned as output so i have to replace this into something so that i can transform it later so i'm replacing it with an asterisk sign so that later i have to transform this into our output by removing the asterisk present now move forward it is a lowercase letter so you can ignore it it is a opening bracket so add its index position its index position is 3 so add it inside the stack and now move forward it is a lowercase letter so ignore it it is a closing parenthesis so we have to check if there is something inside the stack 
so that we know its pair so that we can offset it and uh, remove those two so it is a closing parenthesis right and the stack is not empty so take this character and remove it from the stack pop this element from the stack it means you found that pair and this is a valid parenthesis so here it is in this form right a so here it is in this form so it is a valid parenthesis so you don't remove it the next again it is a lowercase letter so ignore it and move forward and once you reach the end you are done with all the processing and now instead of directly converting it you have to place one more check if the stack is not empty or not for example if there were many opening brackets in there and those index positions will be added right and initially this will also have our output so we have to convert all these three by popping all the elements from the stack and converting them and get those index positions and, and convert these parentheses into stars. But here in this case, we are done with our iteration and there were not any opening parentheses. So you have to always place this check if the stack is empty or not. If the stack has an additional index positions like I showed you 7, 8, 9, replace those index positions with stars again. But here we are done just in case if there was a longer example. And now we have to remove whatever stars are present inside the string builder. So replace this by a empty string. So this will become A. Empty string will be ignored and concatenated. B, opening bracket C, closing bracket and D. And this will be your output which is expected here. And one more thing, to replace you use the replace all method and convert this into a string using the two string method. And to replace you are going to use the replace all method. Now let's take a look at the Java program. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and we are given the string as and we have to return a string which is a valid parenthesis after removing minimum number of parentheses. So like discussed, we have to first create our output. I'm going to use a string builder. So let's create a string builder. And inside the string builder, I'm going to copy the string as. So this string builder is already going to have the input as. We are doing this so that we can create our output from the string builder. And if we are using a string builder, it has better time complexity in insertion and deletion compared to string. And also there are a set of inbuilt functions we can use on a string builder. And now we have to keep track of the indexes. So wherever there is an opening parenthesis, we have to store that index. So a good data structure like we discussed is a stack, which is going to contain integers representing the index positions. Now let us iterate through this input string as from starting to end. I'm going to use a for loop, which will start from the zeroth index position until the last. So s dot length. And now we have to check if this character at i is a opening parenthesis. We are not worried about the lowercase letters. We only have to check for opening and closing parenthesis because we have to deal with making the string a valid parenthesis. So first we are going to check if the current character we are at is an opening bracket. So s dot char at of i is equal to a opening parenthesis. If the character pointing at the current index is an opening parenthesis, then add this index i into the stack. So stack dot push of index i and in the else if block we have to handle if the current character we are at is a closing parenthesis so i'll copy that and paste it here and change this to a closing bracket if the current character we are at is a closing bracket we have to check if the stack is already having an index position where there is an opening bracket so if the stack is not empty it means we have already encountered an opening bracket so we have to remove the last opening bracket. So if stack is not empty. So if this condition passes, we have to access the topmost element from the stack and remove it from the stack. It means we are canceling a closing bracket and the last occurring opening bracket. So stack.pop will remove the index of the last occurring opening parenthesis. So in the else block, it means the stack is empty. And if the stack is empty and we encountered a closing bracket, we have to replace the current character that is a closing bracket with something so that we can remove that particular index while building our output. So I'm going to use the set at method on the string builder. And now this first parameter is going to be the index where we have to replace that. And I'm using a special character like a asterisk so that I want to replace that character inside the string builder. Note that we already have the input string inside the string builder. So we are replacing a closing bracket when there are not many opening brackets present with a star so that in the end we can remove the star by replacing these stars inside the string builder with an empty string by doing so we are we will be removing the closing brackets so we are just replacing the closing brackets with a star now this for loop will iterate until the end and we almost have our answer ready so now we have to check if the stack has some more elements so to make it balanced we have to also replace the indexes present inside the stack with this special character so until the stack is empty, again we have to set those characters. So I'll copy the statement and modify it a little. 
So inside the string builder, I am accessing the indexes present inside the stack. So one by one, remove the indexes present inside the stack from the top. So you're going to use stack.pop. So this is going to give me an index position. And at this index position, I'm replacing that character with a star. And this will happen for all the elements until the stack is empty. And now we have to replace the stars inside the string builder with a empty string representing that it will be removed. So I'm going to use the replace all method on the string. So first I'm converting the string builder into a string. So sb.toString will convert the string builder into a string. And now use the replace all method. This will again take two parameters. We have to replace stars, right? So I'm replacing asterisk with an empty string. So this is the character you want to replace. And this is the character which will replace this character. So we are replacing all the stars with an empty string. And now we have to return this as our output. So place the return keyword here. Now let's try to run the code. The test case are being accepted. Let's submit the code and our solution is accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is big of n because we are iterating to the string as from starting to end. And the space complexity is also big of n because we are using a stack and a string builder to compute our output. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.